Magnetic resonance imaging, the, the design of the hallmark scanner means that it's only small areas that can actually go into the machine, approximately 15 centimeters diameter. Uh, but that it really is the, the, enough for us to really get good images of the feet and um, uh, as, as really giving us uh, so much better diagnoses. And I'm going to give you some examples of those now in, in, the, in the rest of the seminar. There's an excellent assessment, like I said, of bone and of soft tissues on the same images. And we can look at suspensory ligaments and fetlock joints and, uh, you know, really um, understand the injuries a lot better. So I'm going to give you a few, uh, a few examples of how we've been using the MRI scanner. And um, I'm going to cover, just have a look at four injuries in, 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 in sport horses, first of all. And um, have a look at navicular disease and then some some tears on the deep digital flexor tendon, and then some past and bone injuries, and bone and cartilage injuries, and then also in the fetal joint of, of, of some resources. Navicular disease, I think we have some webinars on this subject, and it is a frustrating condition, uh, typically has its onset in, in middle-aged horses, and this is an example case of, a, of an eight-year-old children for gelding. And the lameness is often low grade and insidious and onset, and in this instance, it's been going on for approximately six months. Um, there's, uh, you know, at the straight line trot, the gelding is fairly sound and showing no lameness. But then on a, on a lunge and a hard surface, we can see a lameness on the right forelimb. And when we do flexion tests on the uh, uh, both the ref, right fore and the left fore, we see some lameness. Nerve blocks, so the local anesthesia has already localized the lameness to the foot region and the radiography, and you can see two x-rays there of the feet and the navicular bones, um, are actually again unremarkable and, and showing no major abnormalities. So with the MRI scan, what we can do is, is look at these areas and what the MRI scan does is it'll, it, it relies on differences in water composition um, to allow us to see if things are injured. And what I've got here is the, the three scans from the, uh, uh, this gelding this, uh, that's lame with navicular disease. And we can see disruptions to the navicular bone um, on all three types of scan, the T1s, the T2s, and the STIR sequences. And this is showing a sort of inflammation and um, degeneration within the lower half of the navicular bone. Um, and we can see a, a cross section there of an, an anatomical specimen and it's the lower half um, of the navicular bone where the, the actual ligament of the what we call the impar ligament which holds